In a previous video, I showed you guys on how you can transfer WhatsApp chats and media from your Android phone over to an iOS device. While some of you liked that solution, most of you hated that it is a very expensive software to pay for at 30 US dollars. So today, I'm going to introduce you an even easier solution, but it is still paid at 20 US dollars a month, which you can cancel after you have made the transfer. It is the iCare phone transfer from Tenorshare. And why I say it is easier because you do not require two phones to be connected, just like the previous software, but instead you will be using your Google Drive backup to restore all your WhatsApp chats and media over to your iOS device. And let me show you how it is done. So to show you guys this tutorial, I have my Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is now my daily driver. And I'm going to show you guys on how I transfer all my chats over to the iPhone 13 Pro. And let's start off. Now, I have the iCare phone transfer app open right now. And as you can see, I also have a Lightning USB-C to Lightning cable right at the back of my laptop. So I'm going to first click on WhatsApp because you can see in this app, you have a variety of chat apps right over here. Let's go over to WhatsApp. Now, this is a familiar interface that I've showed you guys previously on other WhatsApp transfer softwares, but you do not need to connect two phones, all right? So what we're going to do next is to head on over to this backup tab right over here because we are going to download the WhatsApp backup that has been backed up to Google Drive, all right? So let's just click on this download WhatsApp backup from Google Drive to this computer. Right, so what is this is going to do right here is to ask you to enter your Google account password. Now, here's the thing that I need you guys to do. I would suggest that you create a new Google Gmail account um, for this backup purposes, because first of all, it will require you to turn off two-factor authentication. Otherwise, this backup will not be possible, right? So I already have this backup Gmail account that I have set it up and there's no 2FA. So on your uh, Android device that has WhatsApp installed, uh, you need to set change your backup Google account to the new Google account that you just set up, all right? So in this, I'm not going to show you that step, but I'm going to proceed right over here. So let's just enter my password for the first time, right? And let's click on sign in. All right, so there you have it. Once I've successfully signed in, so this is my most recent backup that I've just backed up from my S22 Ultra. And I'm going to, I'm going to click on continue and have the data downloaded onto my computer. Now, the good thing here is that this doesn't upload any data over to Tenorshare's servers, which is great. So it keeps all your data, uh, you know, on your PC only. There's no sharing of any data with the company. And I would suggest that after doing all this, you might just want to remove that Google account that you just set up because just in case, you know, if there's any privacy issues. But yeah. Uh, the backup is now downloading. We just need to wait for a bit of time. So if you have lots of chats and media, you just have to wait for it to finish downloading. Now, once all that data has been downloaded from Google Drive, you will need to enter the same phone number that you originally registered on your Android device. So the good thing here is that after you have managed to verify this backup and you can restore this backup to any new WhatsApp number or iOS devices that you want to, all right? So for here, I'm just going to enter my phone number. And I'm going to click the verify button right over here. So uh, make sure you also turn off two-step verification for WhatsApp on your Android device if you have that enabled. And once you have that done, click on continue, all right? And next, it is going to send a verification code over to your phone number. Make sure you have that um, on your Android phone or iOS device. It doesn't matter which device that that SIM card is on. So all you need to do is to be able to receive the SMS message for WhatsApp, all right? And let's click on continue. And I'm gonna get a WhatsApp message on my Galaxy S22 Ultra, all right? So what's gonna happen next after you enter this code is that it is going to lock you out of your WhatsApp and you should not be too worried about that because you can sign back in if you want to later, all right? So let's just enter the verification code and click on verify. All right, backup is successfully done. All right, so all this backup is now on your computer. So you can click on this view backup and there will be a list of your chats right over here. Yep, see, these are all your chats, all my chats. 
that has been backed up from my Android device over to Google Drive, all right? And next, what I'm gonna do is to click on Restore to iOS, right? I'm gonna restore to the target device, and next, I'm gonna plug in my USB-C to Lightning cable over to my iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, so let's just unlock my device right now. And what I'm gonna do next is I need to turn off Find My iPhone, right? That's some of the security stuff that you need to do to disable some security stuff, which you can enable it back later because what this process is gonna do is to restore as an iOS backup over to your iPhone, to my iPhone 13 Pro. Now, what I'm gonna do next is to turn off Find My iPhone on my iPhone, all right? So I've already turned off right on my profile right over here. It's pretty straightforward. Now, if you're worried about privacy issues or your phone getting lost again, you can enable this back right after you successfully restore your WhatsApp backup over here, right? So I've already turned off my Find My iPhone feature. So let's click on Restore now, okay? So it says that WhatsApp data will be overridden. Are you sure you want to continue? So just to show you guys that I'm actually doing this legitly, I'm going to launch my WhatsApp right over here. As you can see, there are no chats at all. It is basically empty. So um, I'm going to click on continue right after that, right? So it is now generating data that can be restored. It's going to take a while. Go grab a cup of coffee while we wait for this process. Another thing that you need to do while waiting for this backup to happen is that you need to stay locked on to WhatsApp, right? So that the backup can restore successfully over to your phone, right? So there we go. This is the prompt to remind you that you need to log into WhatsApp. So I'm already logged in anyway, and let's just click on logged in, all right? It's restoring the target. Uh, it's restoring data to the target device right now. And you will see this restore in progress message just like what you would have seen if you restore an iOS backup over to your iPhone. Let's just wait for a bit and your phone is going to restart. And after that, let's just launch WhatsApp and see what happens. Okay, next, moment of truth, let's launch WhatsApp. Boom, there we go. These are all my chats successfully restored from my Android phone over to my iPhone 13 Pro. It's just that simple. You no longer need to think about any connection issues or you know have two phones connected together worrying of not enough USB ports anymore. That's how easy it is to transfer your chats from WhatsApp on Android over to iOS. Now, before I end this video, I would like to give a shout out to Tenorshare for sponsoring this license for our evaluation. Now, personally, I think this is one of the more affordable WhatsApp transfer softwares out there. And I know a lot of you guys hate paying for software, but if you urgently need to transfer WhatsApp on Android over to iPhone, I think it is still worth paying for this price and definitely cheaper than going to those service centers out there because chances are they might be using the same solution as well. So, in terms of pricing, the Tenorshare iCare phone transfer app will cost you $19.95 cents a month. This is a renewal license, so um, if you don't cancel, it will automatically renew for $19.95 and it will support up to five smartphones, all right? So you can transfer up to five smartphones with one license right over here. And for a limited time, of course, I'm doing it right now at this time of shooting, you can take an extra 30% off this price. So all you need to do is to copy this uh, promo code, click on buy now. And once you go up to the checkout page, remember to click on the redeem coupon code paste that coupon code and click the update button and you will get a 30% discount off the license price which is about 15 US dollars which I think is pretty worth it. All right, so that's pretty much on the iCare phone transfer app for WhatsApp. It's a really simple solution that I like because I no longer need to deal with connection issues. I just need to get the backup from my Google Drive to be restored onto my iPhone 13 Pro. And it's a really great solution than any other softwares that are tested out there. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed to our channel for more tech videos coming right up and I will see you guys in our next video.